Welcome back to the weekly rundown. I'm just going to keep these interview fun going because why not? We're having fun, right? All right. So our next guest, you might know her for her roles in the NBC crime drama Aquarius, the Showtime crime drama Ray Donovan, and the Netflix thriller series You. What do you want, Candace? You did it again, didn't you? Please welcome Amber Childers. Hi, Amber. Hi. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited to talk to you and get to know you a little more. Mm, thank you for having me. So I know that there is a new season of you that has been announced and expected to start next year, but we are not going to dive into that too much. We'll leave that as a surprise for everyone, including myself. <laughs> but I do kind of want to dive into a little more about you. You started a jewelry line, right? And I really like you have, it's a jewelry line with really a meaning. Can we talk about that a little bit? Yeah, sure. Um, so, you know, outside of acting, I have a business, um, a, a brand that I started, and I started in making jewelry in between seasons of Ray Donovan and, and the next project, which was Aquarius, that I did. And I, I wanted to do something with a lot of, of meaning and, and um, something that women can wear every day and feel empowered and not just have, like, not only is it beautiful, but it's something that means something and they could share stories through, just like when my great-grandmother would share stories about her jewelry and World War II and where the turquoise came from. And, yes. Um, I think it's just so, it's so powerful and meaningful. And um, and so I want I, I took that inspiration and I turned it into a business. That's awesome. Do you have any favorite pieces? Um, oh my gosh. It's like asking <laughs> what, what, what I love more. Um, so I, I, I love both of my children equally, <laughs> but um, I love the rise totem piece. So I don't know if you could see this yeah. one, but it's two, it's a native symbol um, with two X's and it's two sisters side by side that are bonded in a relationship of the soul. And it's basically just, it's supposed to be used to give to women and thank them for being with you throughout your journey in life. You know, I, I definitely could not be where I am today without my tribe of women, my own sisters, um, and even women that I don't necessarily know, and I see them do great and uh, amazing things. Um, it in inspires me to step up to the occasion and, and be a better person. Um, and so this is what this symbol means. It stands for so much. Um, and, and right now they're actually on, on sale. They come in two different sizes. I have a small one on, and then there's a longer one that you could wear. Very cute. Um, it's a piece. I know you said kind of your grandma, but like, did you ever think that you would ever, you know, create jewelry or on your own? No, like no. Just, how, like, how did it just come up? <laughs> I, I think I, I was always fascinated with jewelry, especially jewelry from my grandmother, um, just the meaning, but it didn't really hit me. You know, I feel like there's things in people's lives that are presented, but you don't really understand what the message is. And then one day you're like, oh, that's why I was obsessed with jewelry. Just clicks. <laughs> that's what I was supposed to be doing. That's what I was supposed to start. So, um, so I just started playing with ideas, started sketching ideas. I found a mentor because I knew nothing about the jewelry business. And it was, it's been, you know, a lot of work. It's a labor of love for sure. Um, you know, but I've learned so much about myself through this process, about what my message is. I think it's really important for me, you know, just like acting. I love what I do um, in that area for a reason and I wanted to just create a, another passion another artistic outlet for myself um because as an actor you have years that you're working a bunch and then years where you're like this year where you're not working at all um and so I'm I'm it's taken a lot of courage but you know for anyone out there that's wanting to start a business um it's baby steps right you just have to put one foot in front of the other and just take little little steps and, and eventually you you know five years down the road you're like what how did I even get here this is impossible but it's just those little steps that got you to where you are today um another thing I want to bring up the goats the goat one goat two goats three goats, how many yes. Charlie and Nikki they're brothers okay um <laughs> it's definitely been the highlight uh in our family in 2020 uh and we love them but they I had to say they they go to the bathroom a lot Hi, sweetie. Good morning. Did you sleep good? They're so cute. They're so darn cute. Now, were you like thinking of getting a dog and then a goat just came up or like how, why a goat? No, my fiance did want to get a dog. Um, and so we had like joked for a long time about getting a goat. 
little did he know I was actually doing <laughs> search and like where to find a goat. Um, so we, I found a, a, a goat farm and we went just to look at them with my two daughters and we, we found these brothers and it was like, okay, they're coming home with us. We had no idea, but luckily we have a dog run. And so we put them, so they're like, they're like our dogs. Oh. They are very cute. You got to teach them some goat yoga. You gotta. <laughs> my, my older daughter and I, we tried to put uh, one of the goats on our back the other day. And he like, just went like, not having it. <laughs> I was like, okay, this goat's clearly not the goat yoga. It's like, they, they I think they think they're dogs. So, that's great. I love it. I love it so much. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining me. It was great getting to know you today. Thank you. <laughs> the weekly rundown will be right back. <laughs>